if you ever use listening material in your classroom, you'll know how it can trip you up sometimes. Like you want to listen to a specific section of an audio, uh, or you want to skip ahead to a certain point, or uh, you want to loop back to something. Uh, it can get pretty tricky. I mean, there are some tools to be able to make that happen, but most of the time it ends up you trying to move the little scrubber along to get to the point where you need it to be. And yeah, it's not fun. So um, what I've started to do in my class is I started to edit my audio files into smaller chunks, which I can then play and repeat stuff and do things with. So let me show you how that works. I have an audio file, which I've loaded into Audacity. Audacity is a great free program. I've talked about it before in one of my other videos. Um, it's not the world's nicest looking program, but it is free, open source, and very powerful. And so in this particular case, I've taken an audio file, which is about um, just over uh, two and a half minutes long, I believe, or something like that. Maybe it's longer than that, six and a half, I guess, whatever. Um, and I want to break it up into smaller chunks. So you can see when you first load it up, it's going to show you the entire audio on your screen. So you get all those little peaks and valleys, and that just shows you where things are getting louder and softer. And so you see all these different breaks where there's nothing being said. So that's kind of helpful when you're trying to divide up the audio. But this is hard to look at because how am I supposed to edit this? It's not um, zoomed in enough. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in by clicking on the little uh, magnifying glass with a plus in it. And then you can see as it's zoomed in here, it starts to pull those waveforms across so we can get a little bit more detail. So I'm going to move the little uh, dialog thing across the bottom here. So here we are. We're down at the bottom here. Um, we're at number uh, very beginning of the file and I can see there's some gaps here and gaps here and stuff like that. And so I've actually already listened to the audio and I've decided I wanted to put my first uh, bookmark where I want to split the audio here at 25. So I've put my indicator, I just use my mouse, I click on that spot right around 25 and I use on my Windows machine, I use control B on a Mac, it would be command B for bookmark. And then what you get is a little cursor at the bottom there and you can now label it. Now, anything that came before this, we're not labeling that, we're labeling from this point on. So you can think of this as the second half, okay? So I'm gonna call this section two, okay? Um, just cause I, I, normally I would put some a little bit more detailed in there, but just for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna do that. And I can hit enter and it's now labeled. So then I could scroll along here until I get to the second part. So somewhere around here, around 43. And then I'm gonna do control B and I'm gonna say section three, okay? Now you can label these any way you want. I'm just giving you a demonstration here. Um, I'm not gonna go through the rest of the audio, but I would normally go through and I would find those pieces. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to export all of those files into all the, where I've set those bookmarks, all of them into separate files. So it should be three separate files because I put in two bookmarks. So anything before that first bookmark, between the first and second bookmark, and anything after that. So I'm gonna go File, Export, and then I'm gonna go down to Export Multiple. So under Multiple here, I can choose my folder. I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna leave it in my uh, default Audacity folder. And I'm gonna choose which file type I want it to be. Now, choosing whatever file type works best for you, just decide, I'm choosing MP3, and I'm choosing the standard quality just because it's um, more just voice, and so I don't really need to have anything very fancy. It's not for music or anything. Down here under split files based on, I'm gonna leave it at labels, but I'm gonna check off this little one that says include audio before first label, and I'm gonna label it now. So remember, I didn't get a chance to do that before, so now I'm gonna label it section one. And it's gonna use the file names, use label track names. So it's gonna use the label names that I gave it. So I'm gonna choose export, and then just click okay. It's gonna do this for each one of those. I'm going to say, okay, okay, okay. It's going to export, export, export. And the, the last one's going to take a little longer because it's a bigger file here. So the longer your section is, the more time it will take to export. And there you can see section one, two, and three. It wasn't very consistent with my labeling, but that's all right. Click okay. 
So if I go into my folder now, you can see it's section one, section two, section three. And what it's done is it's divided those up, split them exactly where those pieces are. So now what I could do, if I just want to listen to all of them one after the other, I could just listen to the original file. But you can also put these in a playlist. So for example, in iTunes, or you can put it in VLC or any other program where you have, you can kind of put a playlist together of audio and it'll play one after the other after the other. Um, what I also like to do with this, and I have a post on my blog about this, is I've also used this as a scavenger hunt where I've divided up the audio into different sections and they have to go around and try and find all the audio pieces and put them back together in the proper order. Uh, if you'd like to read up more on that, just go to my blog, nathanhall.ca, and then you can look for uh, QR codes, audio scavenger hunt, and you'll see what I've been doing with that. So hopefully that helps you. And if you have any questions about this, let me know. I'm happy to help you. Thanks.